That shit look like a toupee. Welcome back to another episode of... Welcome, Welcome back, back to another episode of Sensory Cleansing. Sensory Wel- Cleansing. <clears throat> Welcome back to another episode of Billy and Jean. I'm Jean. And I am Billy. And we are not, not your, your lovers. lovers. Coming to you live from 905-333. How is everyone doing today? The other day, let me just say this real quick, guys. I had a cheeseburger. Okay, I know what you're going to say. This is how you're deciding to start the episode. <laughs> <laughs> you made that conscious decision. <laughs> I, I was like trying to be like a radio, like, you know, when people listen in their cars. Coming to yeah. you live the other day, I had a cheeseburger in Janet, I know what you're going to say. Um, I have a surprise for you that I wanted to wait till the podcast to play. It's something I found in my recordings. And let's just say... My recordings? Is it in my recording app? My... my, my, my the w- database. My, the voice memo. The studio. Okay. And I'll put it to the mic. This is from June 23rd, 2019. All right, let's hear it, guys. What's up, guys? Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> hey, second podcast of the year, guys. I'm Billy. And I'm Gene. And this is no longer and we are not your lovers. <laughs> really good so far. <laughs> so there's been a lot of talk in the media about... The about MJ. There's been a lot of talk in the media about a certain man named Donald Trump. Oh, I don't even get me started. Oh, what do you think on him? Dude, I think he's a tomato through and through. And that's Gene talking. I think, uh, yeah, this is Gene, by the way, signing in. I think the guy's a tomato. I think if you happen to chop him up, put him on a sandwich, he would fit in real perfect at Subway's. I would eat him up. Um, wouldn't taste the best, but that is just my personal opinion. What about at Red Robins? Red Robin, I don't think he would fit in too much. I think he would uh, stick out of the let- uh, out of the bun a little too much. I don't think he would fit in with the lettuce that they have there. I think he's definitely more of a Subway kind of guy. And that's, that's Gene talking. Uh, this is Billy, and I think he's fabulous. I think. Um, I just wanted to surprise you. With that. <laughs> I like I was because I was going. That through, is wild, right? Like that was literally four <laughs> years ago. That was four years ago. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, it's June twenty first. When was right that now? Recording? In two days, that will be four years ago. <laughs> In two days. That's crazy. Um, that was the first official episode it's of actually Billy and Jean. It's so interesting that we actually did come up with this idea so long ago. So long ago. And it took us four years <laughs> to do it. Um, also, but yeah, I was going through my voice memos last night and I like found that and I found something and it was titled Billy and Jean and I was like, dude, no way. <laughs> I found a lot. Of stuff that I've been looking for for so long in my voice memos last night. I literally scrolled all the way to the bottom. I found the original song for me recording. Oh my god! I found the original aeroplane recording. <laughs> I found the original bittersweet recording, um, like of just like voice memos yeah. of like guitar and like just like that. Um, also, first time trying Prime. Did it, was it good? Was it? Was it weird to listen back to it? It was uncomfortable. What? You don't have, like, good good memories? I do. Like, some of them. Like, Aeroplane, I was like, oh, this is sweet. Song for me, I was like, this is sweet. Bittersweet, not so sweet. Oh, really? It was a little rough? A little more bitter than sweet. <laughs> I mean, I just fucking hate that song. And you know what, actually? <laughs> I want to talk about that real quick before we get into things. Oh, God. Here we go. All of you. And I can't, I can't blame all of you. Obviously, we made <laughs> the song. Here we go. No, we made the song. <laughs> here but we go. you have to understand what it does to me. And us thinking, does anyone actually like the music? Because I listen to that song. I listen to song for me. I get it. It's catchy and it's recorded okay. But Bittersweet is like <laughs> catchy, but is maybe the worst recorded and performed song ever on everyone's part <laughs> the that recorded that song. Are like the drums so are out off. of sync. They're so like off. like uh, uh, my vocals are awful on the song. <laughs> A grading i know because it's like we don't listen to the recording as much I did one vocal take for like that. W- w- when we like once 
once we get the song done and like we finally get it like ready to release you know like it's like we've listened to it so many times that it's just is like i i just i've never actually listened to the recordings because we also play the song so much live mm-hmm. um that like i remember like i don't know not that recent but like a year ago i listened to bittersweet again i was like wow this is like like a barely dog sh- listenable like, it's, dude it's not <laughs> listenable like i'm literally like how do people listen to that because like i said and it's not me just being like oh like i just hate my song <laughs> like, like song for me is fine like we made it guys yeah. okay like we made it like but bittersweet i'm just like factually like that's not objectively it's very hard to listen just recording to. wise recording wise least, yeah so i'm like how it dude, makes we, you feel crazy because you're just like fuck we recorded dude, like, in a day at like some dude's house that we knew we and all pitched like 20 bucks. we all pitched like a, a couple bucks and uh we just like would do our takes and then go up and chill like in the attic room with no label too fuck the label yeah it was all solo i mean it was really cheap it was like i forget like seth's friend or something um i don't even know how we got the contact yeah i don't know how we got the contact i think another band from our area had recorded something with him that seth knew yeah I don't even know, but yeah. like he was, was nice. He's he was nice really guy. nice, He's and sweetheart. like I think and he I did mean, the he, best he could. Yeah, yeah. With the shit that we yeah, gave him. Yeah, because we were all just. I mean, we just weren't good at what we, we weren't. Did yet. We weren't tight yet, you yeah. know. And um, we still aren't. And really dude, tight. I just remember drumming and like being like, I don't think I was really on the metronome at all. And then him being like, dude, that was tight. That was really good. Did we end up turning the click off? <laughs> yeah. I think we did. Because usually when you're recording drums or bass or like most instrumental stuff on a song, you play to a click to keep the tempo. But this guy had, this was our first time playing to a click. Yeah. And I just remember you doing a few takes, Seth doing a few takes. And then him being like, do you want to just turn the click off? Yeah, yeah. And and we're like, just yeah, being like, yeah, yeah. So that means he had to try and quantize it and like make it like on tempo yeah. later in editing, which bless his heart. Mm-hmm. He tried his best. I I think he's a pilot now. I don't even I don't think he's, he's a pilot. Yeah, I don't think he still even records or does anything like that. I think after us he was probably like, he's fuck, fuck this. this. <laughs> <laughs> um But thank you, Cole. Yeah. And I mean, thank you guys for listening. Like it's just Yeah, I'm eternally just, grateful for people who listen to the music, but bittersweet is something that I feel like I've been like I feel a little lied to. I don't, I don't know, but I mean, when maybe when, I'm crazy. I when you know. listen to a song, you know that you find that it can remind you of like a good time in your life or like um I don't know, it can have your own meaning to it, you know, but it just like it I feel like it's different when it's like your own song. It's like feels like a I don't know. Do you like listening to any of the songs? Um, I mean, dude, we play them to death. Like it's like we listen to them. I like listening on to demos tour like and stuff a hundred like times. Stuff we haven't played on tour. I like. Yeah, to. yeah, yeah. I mean, stuff that we haven't listened to a thousand. I think. Yeah. If you listen to any fucking song a thousand times and play it a thousand times, you know, like you won't have the same feeling for it. Like, but I think. Um, yeah, there. I I like connect the dots still a lot. I actually like listening. to I that do song. like that song as well. Yeah, and you know what? It's been kind of. It's like our third most popular song right now. Really? Yeah, it's been rising the chart. People are fucking with that song. That's cool. So thank you guys. Yeah, I just noticed the other day it hit like a million streams. Damn. I was like, what? Dude, I can't believe the fuck. I can't believe song for me is almost at twenty million streams. That is insane. It blows my brain. That's insane. It like, blows my and balls. We made that song as a joke in the recording. <laughs> we were with, with Casey, right? Yeah, yeah. In the room. Yeah. Uh, you know, when I was writing the song Yellow, well, um, I, you know, have you heard him talk yes, about yes, that? Yes, yes. I, I, yeah. What's his name? Chris Martin? Yeah. Um, but From no, Cold that song Play. truly was. I don't know if we've talked about that, actually. Uh, song for me was a joke, yeah. Yeah. I, at first, it was. Because we were trying to make like a Blink One Eighty Two, yeah, like yeah. early two thousands, like <laughs> joke song. Yeah, Casey was literally in the room, yeah. like fucking around too. Yeah, he was um, singing too, and EJ too was in here. Yeah, you can hear him in the recording, like <laughs> freaking out. Um, and it literally the first it was in this room in this bed. Yes, literally right here, <laughs> and I was probably sitting right here, yeah, and you were yeah. sitting right there, <laughs> and it was like the first in the first ever recording of it when we like came up with that. I uttered the first words of the verse 
I have a play. That was like just uh, right oh, off the really? bat. Oh, yes. really? Really? I Dude, have a play. And place. most of the words, most of the lyrics on the chorus and the melody for the oh chorus. Oh, my God. But I was listening to it last like, night, too. Like, how do we make music like that? Like, looking back and versus now, like, it's I so don't know. Wild. But it also, I was listening to, like, the progression of it, that song, song for me, last night in the recordings, because I have, like, a bunch of recordings of it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And I didn't get the, oh. Yeah. Until like way later, like at the beginning, you can tell how confused I am, and I'm just like, oh, <laughs> like I, I don't have it yet. Um, and it's just so funny. It's sweet though. That song to me is sweet. Like yeah. that was the first song. No airplane was, but song for me was. I mean, probably honestly, the second. all of our songs like remind me of like the place that we were in, you know, and like, like even if my opinion of of how you know subjectively good i think they are or not like they still hold like that place in my heart of like that time when we made them yeah you know what i mean yeah even if they're shit even if i think they're shit it's still like oh yeah like, there's always yeah. a part yeah. of it. like oh i remember we were doing this at this time and yeah yeah and if you're not embarrassed of what you did three years ago you're not growing yeah so. which i love that quote that is such a good quote you know who said that um it was like <sighs> just tell me it's katya yeah that's right katya is a genius yeah I genuinely think Katya Zamolochikova is one of the great, like, philosophers of our time. Oh, um, wow. Gibby, are you, uh, you're killing me, Smalls. How are you? I'm good. How was your week? It was good. Do you like chocolate pizza? I've never had that. Would you, eat, would you try it? Yeah, of course. It would be like chocolate would, with instead of marinara sauce is chocolate. Yeah, and you would get we actually we were talking about this earlier. That's why we started wanting take cheesecake. A, take a nibble, yeah. Yeah, I, I forgot your uh rendition of it, which was just a normal pizza with chocolate sauce on it. Was it? Oh was that your actually idea My, of it? Um, Someone thought like it would substitute the marinara sauce. Yeah, that, that's what I was saying. But you were saying like normal it, pizza oof. with like a drizzle of chocolate. That's yeah. what did I actually saying. remember this conversation between you two? And I think I was like high, and I was like, dude, what the fuck are they talking about? <laughs> I was not involved in that conversation. Um, so also before chocolate pizza, <laughs> before we move on to, I, I want to make a formal apology. Oh wow! To Lucas, thank you. Do you know what about? <laughs> yes. Dude, I, I think I, I think I do actually have like an anger problem. I think I do. No, you. Do. I mean, no. I think I do. And me and Grace were talking about it a little bit of like. I think you have a frustration. I just need problem. to like channel. Yeah. I don't think anger because I can't recall a time where you've like screamed at me like. Da, da, da. It was that one time when you were blackout drunk. One time. Oh yeah. Out yeah. of our like five years of friendship. Yeah. So I don't think you have an anger problem. I think you just get frustrated. Yeah, but like. It was just over something. So, okay, let me explain. Let me explain. Did right? we know? I don't think so. So, yes, or out. yeah, yesterday we I was hanging out with all the Greer guys. Josie pops a coke, drinks it, and like twenty minutes go by. So fast. I twenty minutes it. go by. Josie's in the fridge again, grabbing another coke, and I As go is Seth. and I and and we'll. Like Seth was kind of like bandwagoning because of like, oh, Josie's getting another Coke. Oh, I'll get one. And everyone's grabbing fucking Cokes. And in my house, you know, Coke is a very rare commodity, you know, because <laughs> everyone in the house drinks it. Everyone, Every- wants everyone it. does. Everyone drinks it. Everyone wants it. And um, so I go to Josie. I say, hey, Josie, uh, stop drinking Coke. You just had one, man. Like, they're going to all be out. And he goes, Dude, your dad just bought like a whole fucking case. You're fine. And then I'm like, um, in that moment, I felt bad being like, oh, dude, I'm such an asshole, like restricting him from drinking. Like, dude, like, I, they should have their fucking beverages. You know what and I mean? And you know what I'll say too is I was getting it and then I was like, no, like, and I was about to put it back when you said that, but then I was like, no, I was like, Daco just got two That's cases. That's what he said. I was like, he got two cases. Like, there's definitely more. And I was like, oh, more. my brain, that was. In my brain, after he said that, that was solidified. That yeah, was to fact. me too. I really because he I, did. I I don't doubt that you believe that. I really did, and that's why I was like, because if I didn't I think thought, that, I was like, he must have seen have it. it. Obviously, he must have seen they it. They were right there. I don't know where he put them. I think they might be in the garage. I checked. Did you? Yeah. In the garage. Well, so what happens is later <laughs> in the night, it's really late at night. Me and Grace get food, and I come home, and I'm like, I'm gonna get a coke because Josie said. <laughs> There's fucking more in there. And I look, no Coke. And I don't know why, but it just broke a circuit in my brain. 
and I have just never because I got my meal ready me and Grace were about to watch like this nice show and like I have all my food spread out and I'm like time to get my coke which Josie said was in the fucking fridge and I had cases of it and I look and there's nothing in a circuit breaks in my brain and I actually like just start flipping the fuck out and being like just being like I told them and just and just knowing that you weren't there I wanted you to be there so I could yell at you and be like look what you did look what you did and you just like you were gone and it, it was just like oh my god and like I literally drove to 7-eleven 80 miles an hour it was really late there's like no one around and I drove really really fast and I got a coke and I came all the way back and I texted Josie and I was like I forget what I said you like try to call me about I said fuck you bro that's yeah. I tried, to, I tried to FaceTime you and then I because I was like what time are we recording tomorrow and I didn't actually drive 80 miles per hour okay? um, I just drove faster than normal mm-hmm. we'll slightly see. slightly faster than normal um I tried to call you to see what dude I tried to call you to see what time we were doing tomorrow, yeah. and then I saw you texting me fuck you bro and I was like <laughs> oh ha, ha, ha. Um, but part of me was like is he actually I was like because I'm always like that I'm just always like are they being serious like does this person hate me and you said fuck you bro <laughs> and i said why what time do you want to do the podcast tomorrow and you said no i don't want to talk to you no <laughs> cokes in my fridge <laughs> thanks thumbs up and i said what happened to all of them and you said who knows dude <laughs> apparently i had a whole other case thumbs up and i was like oh my god he's mad i was like he's actually mad and i was like yeah your dad brought home two boxes like last week did you ask him and you said no i'm not waking my dad up to ask him where the cokes are <laughs> they go quick man that's what i was trying to tell you <laughs> And I said, well, I'll bring some over tomorrow. I'm sorry. <laughs> and you said, dude, I swear I've never been so mad at a person <laughs> in my life. Oh, oh my I drove 80 going to 7-Eleven to get another one. Either you drank too many Cokes or I should be put in a psychiatric ward. <laughs> And, I, and then at that point, I was like, I didn't know what to do. I was like, dude, he's really pissed off. I was like, do I take the, like, I'm really sorry route? Because, I mean, I am. Or do I take the, like... Fighting back a little fighting bit, back? like, chill. And I did a little bit, and I said, text Seth, too. Yeah, yeah. Because um, also at that point, I remember being like, bro, should I just leave this on red? Like, clearly he's really angry. Like, we should just talk about it later. And I said, text Seth, too. And he said, he didn't drink two within an hour. And I said... <laughs> I'm sorry. I can bring over to. I can bring more over tomorrow, and you said whatever. I'll see you at three. Gibby was saying three, and I said I'm down. I could also cruise earlier if you want to try and bright. And you said I'm good. See you at three. <laughs> and I was like, okay. And Grace, no and Grace was like, she kept saying she was like you're being really mean like maybe you shouldn't like and I and I was just like yeah but he deserves it like that's what he should get like he should get in trouble for this and then she was like okay and just like was like waiting for me to cool down at that point I was just like you said I'm good see you at three and I was like okay <laughs> that is not how this conversation is ending I was like you are crazy I was like you are crazy and I was like stressed and I was just like, no, I can't have it. No, like, no. So I said, bro, I'll just order cooks to your house right now. Like, I'm sorry. And you said, no, it's chill. I'll text you tomorrow. Just so annoyed. I'm sorry for being psycho, but so annoyed. Like, can't <laughs> talk to you right now. I'll be fine tomorrow just to sleep on this. <laughs> and I said, okay, you're good. Just text me when you're up. Um, and you say, okay, I'm sorry. All right. Shouldn't have been so rude. I'm sorry. Okay, so and then we like I went like, to like regular conversation, and I was like, "You're good." Like, I get it. The coke is probably just like a breaking <laughs> point at the end of the day. Yeah. Um. Okay, I know it's psycho like behavior, but it's actually there's no excuse. It was like I I like cooled off like immediately. Like after I sent that, I'm good. See you at three tomorrow. Text. I was like, oh man, like I'm feeling so bad about this, and like it's like I need this to immediately be resolved. And then I was like, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done that. But, like, I just, I don't know. I And Grace is right. She she said, she told me, she's like, maybe before you, like, text him or whatever, you, like, just cool down a little bit, and then you text him. And I was just, like, I was so hot. I was just so hot when you I texted him. You were very you. hot. And I very could, hot. I could feel it over I was the very phone. Hot. Like, my phone was heating up. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. I just came in way too hot with that, you know? 
He said, come in very hard. And it's just, fuck you, it's, bro. And, it's, and I was telling Grace, I was like, over a fucking Coke, like, what am I doing? Like, what the fuck am I doing right now? I was like, dude, I need to be put away. Dude, who knows? Maybe I, I would like, have the same reaction. I have a over fucking you. anger problem. I mean, I love Coca Cola, but it is true. Like, I, I mean, it's I, just I because, understood like, exactly what was going on. I was like, bro, it's been a day, like, and this was just like this fucking straw that broke the camel's back. Yeah. Like, I, I get it. Yeah. And I'm glad that happened over text. Because if I was here <laughs> I know. and you screamed at me, I would have been like, okay, you're crazy. I probably yeah. would have cried I know, you and then tried, gone You home. tried calling me and I just was like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not calling you right now. I know. I was like done talking to my mom and I was like, <laughs> oh, I should call Lucas about that. And then I was like, wait, what? He texted me. Dude, no, those texts were not okay, actually. Like, I feel like that's like some of the worst I've ever talked to anyone in like a long time. And it's I, that damn Coke. Bad. Yeah, over a damn Coke. Like, what the fuck is wrong with me? What um, is wrong with me? Like, why did I do that? I shouldn't have done that. Like, I well, st- I, st- I just wanted to state my formal apology to you, dude. Because, no, no. Uh, no, because I I did really think that there was two more boxes, <laughs> and that's why I took it. If I knew those were the last two cokes in the fridge, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have been like, oh, let me take Lucas's last dude. two cokes. Like, that's awful. That that is an awful no, thing to like, do to it's somebody. Like whatever. But I didn't know. It's like whatever. It's like oh damn. You know, and I went and I went and I grabbed more and it was totally fine afterwards. I wonder if they're also I did. I will say I put those Cokes in the fridge. Um, That's why I think the boxes are somewhere. Did you ask your dad? Did you end up asking him? No, you should ask him because the boxes are somewhere. Because I remember the day before that I was at your house and I put Cokes in the fridge. Dude, I'm telling you, they go, like, expenditure. Because we also have, like, family dinners here and stuff like that. And everyone's and, like, drinking Coke. And everyone's over here. And everyone's... And... Because think about it. Josh, me, my dad, and Grace when she is here. But she usually gets, like, Diet Coke well, I know what I'm getting you for your birthday. That's, like, like four people drinking three Cokes a day. If you're drinking three Cokes... And you know what? Actually, and I went home that night, Lucas. I ordered food. And I got a can of Coke with it. If you knew that. And I had it by my bed. And during that, I was like, should I send a picture to him? <laughs> Bro, I, I would have blocked you on all social medias. I would have gone through everything oh, to block dude, you. I wish I fucking I, did. No, and, and, and even if we were in this room right now, I would not unblock you. I wouldn't unblock you for like a week or something. Remember when you blocked me? We've talked about that yeah, on the podcast before. But you fucking you. blocked me. I had to come over to your house and be like, hey. <laughs> Like, did you fucking block my number? And you were like, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I forgot to unblock you. <laughs> For, like, days. I could come and, over. And I unblocked him. There's a bunch of texts. Yeah, me being like, hey. Like, hello? <laughs> like, the fuck? I, um, I forget what you did. You did something. Like I didn't respond you to a text. You always do something. I didn't respond to a text. I forget what it was though. It's an important text. It wasn't. It was an important text. Um. Okay. Well. No, I honestly think I need to go to a psych ward or go to therapy. Um. I don't know if a psych ward. Maybe. Maybe you just need to start taking lithium. Also. Okay. I'm stop sorry, with that sorry, because it's like actually. Have sorry, you been I'm doing sorry. that for a long yeah, time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, that is going to be awful to listen. No, to. it's gonna be okay. Formal apology to the listeners hey guys, because I want to. I want to make an announcement that oh, um, so if you've been hearing things from my mind, you already said this last episode. <laughs> you said this last episode. It's not me. It's the stand. We have a new segment. Yeah, we are, and and this might be a surprise to someone, a special someone. The Gibby Quiz. <gasps> what? What is this? What? What? Dude, what? Gibby, what is this? I don't like this. Today, I'm going to quiz you on modern day slang. Are you excited? I guess. I'll give are you story. down? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. What's a good name for the segment? Gibby Guesses. Oh, Gibby Guesses. Well, I'm not going to be guessing. Oh, he's confident. He's confident. Okay. I like that. All right. Give let's, me nose. Let's Give start. me nose. And also, happy Pride Month. There's some gay stuff in here, too. Oh. We love gay. and We um, love gay. Thank you. Have you seen that video of Rihanna where she's like, <laughs> and yes, she's like talking about the lingerie. She's like, we love gay. Um, <laughs> she's like, and we love, you know, 
all the pronouns and the <laughs> and she says the gender appropriation and i'm like Bruh, who the fuck let her get on camera and say that because like i'm sure she like does support all that but she like doesn't know <laughs> it. She's, yeah, like, she's like reading buzzwords and like just reciting them. gender appropriation gender appropriations crazy. um okay let's start out with a strong one gibby what do you think house down boots means let's hear it um, like you uh, like use it in a sentence give me are you playing the deal or no deal music no uh put that on <laughs> all right now <nah. laughs> what is what is what house down boots mean house down boots um Next question. Oh! Do you want? You don't even want to take a stab oh, at it. Pass. I pass on that. Oh! He loses one pass. He doesn't get another one. Okay. Do you want to know what the definition is? What? You want? Do to you know want to know what the definition is? Um, no. I mean, I'll come back to it. Okay. Just, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Sneaky link. Sneaky link. Oh, okay. That's like. Just you know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a sneaky link? <laughs> Do you have a sneaky link? Um. Oh, he played a sound effect. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but he played one, and it's probably funny. <laughs> sneaky link. Sneaky link, bro. You man. know what sneaky Come link on, means, bro. This you wanted like to use it in a I sentence, it was be like, like a fun game. What it is. <laughs> sneaky link. What do you think the definition of sneaky link is? Uh, it's just like, like, someone. You got sneaking around for you. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. like a okay. side, yeah. like a side piece. Yeah, if you want to say that. Yeah. All right, <laughs> let's move on to the next one. You got that one right. Ding ding ding. I got it right. All right, cool. How many points is that? One. Oh, just one. All right. Beta. Uh, it's like the the fish that you buy, and you don't um, put it. If you put it with another beta fish, they'll attack each other. So you gotta just have a single fish aquarium. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking more in the terms of like when you're talking about a guy. <laughs> oh, um, I mean you're just... right though. I mean beta fish that that is true about beta fish. Like you can't have two of them in the same tank. <laughs> um, so I'm thinking the other definition for that word. Like the slang term. Yeah, like the slang term. Like oh, he's so beta. Slang. Okay. Um, you, you know what slang so there's means? There's alpha. I feel like I use slang, but not like this. This is not. There's alpha, like, and then there's. Uh, is beta, yeah. And um, <laughs> I guess a beta is just someone who's just like a little more chiller, but like less. They're more submissive, I guess. Okay. Yes. Ding, yeah. ding, 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 ding. Killed it, bro. Two there you points. go. That was good. Okay, sissy that walk. What do you think sissy that walk <laughs> means? <laughs> it's just like yo, like sissy that walk, like. Yeah. What does that? But what does it mean? <laughs> um. Just like do your dance, you know. Kind of, yeah. yeah. I, I'll take that. That's uh, yeah, right. I think that's yeah. Urban okay. Dictionary defines it as it means you should walk more like a woman. Okay. I feel like that's not what it means though. Like, I mean, it's usually used with drag queens. I know, it's but like, like sissy, sissy that, that walk. But what he's saying, like the spirit of that, like is like that's do kind your of what thing. it's turned into. Yeah, yeah is like, it's just like sissy that walk, yeah. like work. Yeah, like yeah. So yeah, another point. Ding ding ding. Oh ding. wow. Yeah. Okay. Gibby guesses. Yeah. Riz. Um, R I Z Z. I heard that's just like short for charisma. Yes. Yes. Ding ding ding. Totally okay. correct. Slay. Totally correct. Slay. Slay. Um, <laughs> Happy Pride Month. <laughs> slay is just like define slay. Just um. Just kill it. Just in a non-violent way. Yeah. Okay. Ding, ding, ding. And in a violent way. If, yeah. yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. So, uh, T. T-E-A. No, it's what we sip in the morning. Yeah, but, yeah, like, but what the, are we sipping on? Term. What are we sipping on? T. Well, yeah, yeah but what, what, like, in, uh, like, not in the way of the drink, like, in the way what of, did? like, 
Like slang. Um, like, oh, give me the tea. Kiwi's looking a oh, little stumped. Give me the gossip. Okay, yeah, there you go. Ding, ding, ding. There you go. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, and then there is Kiki. Let's uh-huh. have a Kiki. <laughs> is that like, do Kiki. you love me? Huh? Um, oh, no, no, no. Not the Drake song. Do you even know what a Kiki is? <laughs> barely. This one I like barely knew. Uh, like, the, let's have a Kiki. The delivery service. Um. <laughs> oh, the Ghibli movie? Yeah. No. It's spelled the same way, though. K-I-K-I. Kiki. Um, let's have a Kiki. Just guess. Oh, a kickback. Kind of. I, let's have I, a kickback. Let's it's a, a gathering of, of gay... That's what Urban Dictionary defines it as, is a gathering of gay people. Oh, I thought it meant sex. It so, can, so that but it's like kind of like, the, the term is just like, oh, yeah, like, we'll key. Damn, like, we'll have Gibby a little key, totally like, we'll key that. down. Yeah. Let's have a kiki. A uh, kickback. Like, a we'll kiki just get back. together, yeah, like, get together, have a good time, what like, the with the girls. House down boots. <laughs> you want to come back to that one? <laughs> you want to come back to Kiki it? was the last one. So, so you are this back is down the final, final one. Um, right now you have seven points. This will make eight. Oh, wow. So do you want those eight points? How, you bad, want that how, final how bad do you want them? How bad do you want oh them? House gosh. down boots. It's like house down boots. It's like walk into the place like it, you own it. You know, it's like put your house down boots on. Like, you know, like, you know what I mean? Kind like, of. Yes. I, I, yes. House down I, I would boots, say that's like, pretty accurate. Like walk into the building like you're wearing your house down boots. Like it's your house. Like, <laughs> Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I would give you a half point on that one. Yeah, half point. So seven and a half uh, points. Seven and a half out of eight. What? Did you read him the definition? Okay, yeah. You want the definition of house down boots? I mean, I feel like I already know what it is. The house down <laughs> boots, a term used by the LGBTQIA plus community. Thus, term means amazing in a fun way. Wow, your shirt is so is cute. The house down boots. <laughs> I like my definition. <laughs> I mean, you could use like, it in that way. Like, walk into the place. Like, <laughs> oh, my God. I should not have my legs under the blanket right oh, now. Oh, you're here. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jojo, but they're sweating so bad right now. Guys, I'm wearing shorts. And you know what? It's summer on the podcast. And the AC in here doesn't work too well. So uh, you're going to be seeing a lot more of these gorgeous Let those tennis player babies legs. breathe. Your legs are house sound boots. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Gibby. You're well, learning. Oh that my concludes God. the segment, Gibby Guesses. Gibby Guesses. Did you like it, Gibby? Like, yeah, you like that, Gibby? It's you like a fun, fun quiz. I don't know. I never really liked quizzes, but yeah. It was you cool. did pretty good. Yeah, you did really good. Yeah. You like knew all of them. We could do one where you quiz me on basketball yeah. shit. Yeah. I won't know anything. Like pick and roll, does you know what that is? What's a pick and roll? Yeah, you guessed that. I know pick up sticks. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we, we we could do that. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Josie. No, I, well, not right now. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm just I was gonna, trying to make a name like Gibby guesses like. Josie. Drop some segment up uh, things in the below in the what are the comments. Um. So the other day I went to uh, a lunch with Grace and it was like all of the other family members there, whatever. And um, except for me, uh, yeah, except for Josiah. Josiah wasn't there. It was actually really cool to see the rest of the family without you there, because it was like I could actually talk to everyone. Um, what? So, anyways, <laughs> I it's not even about any of this. It it was really nice. It was a great time. But while I was sitting at the dinner table, there was like some times and lulls in the conversation. Where I like, you know, like don't have anyone to talk to and like I would look over and I look over and saw this man. There's a man. There's a man and his wife and he's like talking to a girl and I saw him like purposely, like with intention, like grab trash and like just like intentionally throw it on the ground. There's a table right in front of him. And I just saw him and then like, you know, when you do something in public and you're like, oh, did anyone see that? And you kind of like look over he had that moment and he made direct eye contact with me and I was like, I saw it, bro. And I and he just didn't care. He kept doing his thing. Oh my god. Was then, he old? No, he was like forties. And then I saw it also he had a glass full of water filled with tortilla chips. <laughs> and I didn't know why. 
<laughs> what? Wait, like, and they were getting soggy in yeah. there? And, soggy? <laughs> and they were just stacked. It was like stacked to the brim with tortilla chips. There was a water. Salt water. Also, real quick side note. Um, but like earlier, you guys didn't see, but Lucas slapped my leg and look at the market left. Do you see that? That's. Do you see what you do to me? I bet you there, leave marks. There's people who would pay for me to do that. That's not a good argument. Lucas says this because there was a time in the Greer verse where he was just showing us his fucking butt all the time, which also me- meant that we could see his balls because he'd bend over and show it to us. Oh my god, it, like you should go to jail for that. And then he would say, well, you know, a lot of people would pay to see that. Because he would be like, we don't want to fucking see that. And we were like, okay, I'm not that person though. I don't want to pay to see that. I don't want to not pay to see that. I don't want to see that at all. I don't want to see your ass. I don't want to see your balls. And I definitely don't want to see your fucking... Oh my god. And you Lucas. get to see it for free. I don't want to see it. At all. Um, Sorry, know. but... Like, a lot of the times it was just like by accident. No... Yeah, that was one time. Loose box. That was that was one time. I know what you're talking about. And and it was in the garage with honestly, loose boxers, and your ball popped out. It's a little embarrassing for me. Yeah, that was awful. I feel bad about. And you that. guys dog on me. But no, the other. What times, else am I supposed to it, say? It's been on Facetime. It's been in a hotel room on tour. It's been. Oh my I don't like bend repeated. over and show you my fucking ass. Okay. Okay. Actually, the other time I did with you. There's the truth and there's remember, the lie. Remember the other time when I was Why? like... Why? Is he pointing at me? No, I was helping you with like your thing the other day and like... It's just, dude, it's just as like... Wait, what? No, and I was... <laughs> what are you talking about? Bro, I was helping you with your fucking thing and I was like bending over and Josie was sitting right here and I like pulled out my pants. Oh, yeah, and I like looked up and saw it and I ignored it. I didn't even say anything. And I didn't even notice Because I was like, I don't want to give him that, bro, because then, then he's going to show I know, more. And then I just like was doing it for so long and then I just pulled it up and like didn't say anything to anyone. This actually really hurts. Wait, I was in the room when that happened. Yes, bro. When did that happen? I don't even think Gibby even knew. I mean, it's... it's <laughs> Bro, it's, I did not know. <laughs> Wait, it happens what? quickly. What, that happened today? It, next time, I'll let you know. Gibby, would it help you feel... Would it make you feel any better if like you knew that know. other people would probably pay to see that? Yeah, does no, it help you? Um, see? See? Right? Because that's not logical. That's not normal. Yeah. It's like you forced me... Yep. ...to do something I didn't want to do. Yep. Like you forced me, like. but I'm. <laughs> now you're mocking him. <laughs> you're mocking one of your fucking victims of the mooning. There was a mass mooning today. I didn't see it though. In California, bro, you didn't even like, get the uh, brunt of it. You got the front of it. You know, like you're oh, wait, fine, wait, 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 bro. wait. Do you know Jeffrey Star? Yeah. Do you know James Charles? How they're both like makeup like, gurus, them, but, like, but like they're makeup gurus, like makeup people. Yeah. What do you call it when the two of them, f- they're finally fucking getting together and they're finally going to fuck? What do you call it? Um, house over boots. Boots house down. <laughs> okay. Makeup sex. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was funny. And yeah, thank you for the sound effect. <laughs> Give me the Your answer. Your punchline was a lot funnier than mine. I thought it was like a quiz answer. House know. over boots. I'm going to start saying that, Loki. House over boots. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's kind of like in Hogwarts. What? <laughs> Which house are you? Over boots. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. Because we're not going to embrace the madness right now and fall deeper into the hole. And we're not. Okay. I'm going to tell a story so about my madness yeah. this weekend. <laughs> this weekend. <laughs> I've been starving Lucas and Gibby for hours. <laughs> like, I can see it. If we can see the IHOP right now. We can, I can smell, smell it. I can smell it. Just wait a little bit longer, okay? Let me tell my story because Lucas, tell my- Lucas was the man. Was not very helpful in this situation. I already told Grace about this. Grace knows about it. I called her. I know, and we talked about it. Yeah. I called her while it was happening. And she got both sides of the story because there's two, that's for sure. Um, so basically what happened was we were having like a party for one of our friends who got a GED, like they never graduated high school and they were like, Oh my God, I got my GED. And we were like, let's have a party. Like, that would be so sweet. You know, they're so 13. Yeah. They're 13 years old. They're a friend that you guys don't really know about. They already got their um, GED. That sounds weird. They're not 13. Yeah, they're, they're 13. That was a joke. They're 13. No. Um, 
But we were having no. the party. We like ordered Wingstop. We were watching The Idol because Orion hadn't seen it yet. Um, and me and Enya took edibles. I've taken this edible before, mind you. The same dosage, the same piece of the gummy. Fuck these fucking okay, gummies. Okay, so what happened was the cool kids were doing their cool kids things, and Josie wanted to participate and act like he was one of them. But the thing is, is last time I took that same edible, I was outside during the day, like in a river, which I feel like oh, it would yeah. be impossible to green out in, for in me a, at least. like In a river, for sure. Like outside during daylight, I feel like I'm, there's no way I'm having a bad high. You know, like I'm having a great high. But this was in a dark room. We were watching the idol, eating a fuck ton of Wingstop. My stomach was in shambles already. And then it hits me, and I am shitting bricks, literally going to the bathroom, diarrheaing, pushing as hard as I can. Are you serious? Yes. We'll see if I have a fucking hemorrhoid this week. I don't know. Did you make it to the toilet? Yeah. I'm, well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Dude, like... Wait, wait, wait. What? So, wait. You just kind of, like, went a little too fast. You took an edible. Also, you watched. Listen, idol. I'll tell you this. I was on the phone with somebody, and I was talking to them and receiving some bad news from them about like one of their family members. And halfway through the call, we were on the call for a while. Halfway through the call, it fucking hit me, like a ton of bricks. And I was like, "Oh my god, I forgot I took that edible. Oh my god!" And I'm like having to console this person and like have a conversation with them, and. Yeah, dude, I was like, but I couldn't be like, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm high right now. By the way, no, like, you had to I was like, like pull I can't together. say that, dude. I have to pull it together. Yeah, You're and like, I was what's, trying what's my fucking best, but honestly, I have no <laughs> idea what I said on that phone call. That's how high I was. Like, I was losing it, <laughs> losing it. Like, and I like finally, I, I got off that call. I like went into the living room. I told everyone like I'm super high. Like I'm like not okay. And I like go. I went outside. Yeah, he's. Uh, I need dude, to go it's outside. It's literally like. Um, and I sat there. It's like the- you're in a haunted house, and one of the ghosts are like go- roaming through the hallways, pretending like they're a human. Like, like bro, that's I'm gonna literally- go outside real quick, <laughs> and then they like glide out the door. Like the fucking headless horseman in yeah. like um in Harry Potter, how they always say hi to the kids. They're like, "Hey, welcome back!" Like that's yeah, literally yeah, me, yeah. bro. Like I felt not real. I was like, I need to go outside and touch the grass. There's no fucking grass in front of Drew's house. It's all dead weeds. So I was like touching the weeds, like trying to grab them, like sitting on the concrete, looking like an insane person. I see a man across the street. It's also like 11 p.m. And I was like, maybe 12. I, I don't know. A man? A man. And he was getting out of a van and started walking in the direction of the house. And I was like, no, 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 no. I was like, no, absolutely not. I'm going inside. So I went inside, locked the door swiftly. And ran back upstairs. <sighs> I was chewing on black pepper. I was having... Also, every time I get high, like too high like that, I start thinking about God. And like start thinking about like, where did everything come from? <laughs> like, where did we come from? Like, is God going to be mad at me for this? Like, what? Like, and I just apologizing to him and being like, yo, I'm so sorry. Like, please just make me feel Dude, better were, right like, now. You like literally going through it. I remember like we were in the other room just like chilling, like watching videos. And okay. Stuff. And, and be, also like, being like, where's Josie? I come back this in whole from time, outside. He's like, God, <laughs> I, <come. laughs> I need to touch grass. I almost got Dude, murdered I by the man like, in the van. So not okay. Because also I was trying my hardest to not throw up. Because when I get too high, I fucking Boke like crazy like six seven Dude, times throwing up high is really horrible because it's not like alcohol like you can't just it's yeah, you're not gonna out, feel dude, better when you're after. drunk you it just, feels awesome you're like ready to go you're like <sighs> yeah, you're like, yeah. Oh, what is going on but like when you're I high, get, it's like you taste everything yeah and i just didn't want to throw up all those wings and i was like dude please god please no and i was just drinking so much water too so i had to piss <laughs> basically but when i like come up from like outside like come upstairs i'm like see lucas because grace also i had all, already called grace at this point and she was like maybe like go like talk to lucas like he could probably comfort you i go up to lucas and he like almost starts to try to fuck with me but i'm like dude no like i'm like really high like i don't think you get it i'm like not a, i'm not good right now like please and then you're like okay okay and then i like start d- walking back to drew's room from the living room and lucas proceeds following me and then i'm walking and i hear him stop so I turn around and, I, and he's just staring at me from like the other side of the hallway. 
And I'm like, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? And like, it is greeting me so <laughs> much. I was like, fuck this. <laughs> I'm going so to the that. bedroom to play Fortnite because I need to keep my hands busy. I need to keep my brain busy. And I need to look at a screen and not look at anything else because that's what helps me and um finally later like lucas ended up being nice and helpful i was telling grace about this i'm like dude my version of events is like josie's like out of his fucking mind and like is like bro i'm like so high right now and then starts like like wavering down the hallway and i'm like thinking in my head i'm like oh my god dude like is he gonna be okay i'm like like i'm gonna like make sure he's like good and like i just like kind of like half walk down the hall, like making sure he's good, and then Josie like turns around and is like, <gasps> and then like keeps walking. I'm like, bro, he's out of his mind, and I just well, remember also, being like, I just being like ch- trying to check stories. on him, kind of like I wasn't, I wasn't trying to fuck with you at all. How it came across to me was you were <laughs> fucking you were like, that because you like, do that when I'm, I'm like, sober, and you like do that stare. It's that specific stare of just like, dude, like give me, you like, know the that stare. Was like a genuine it's like him being like, stare, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but the way Lucas tells it, like, I don't but know, then like, later dude, though. I was just I like, like Lucas was being yes, genuine was. later he was and he was like bro you want me to come like play some Fortnite with you and I was like oh my god okay cool like you're being cool now like before <laughs> I, it did not come across that way at all because I've had you worry about me before when I'm drunk and stuff and you're like dude it's okay like let's get you to the room like so I reject that dude, no, and I, w- I think the I was, first time you're fucking with me I was uh, I was not trying to fuck with you I promise because well, I knew I knew immediately when you're like when you're like that <laughs> and then like that it's really not even that funny to fuck with you because it's like like it's like it's like um it's like if uh mike tyson was to go into a back boxing match with P- Wee herman like yeah. he, he's beating his fucking lights just out wailing it's little. like there's no point yeah. you know or like chicken little yeah yeah <laughs> rip his fucking head off i mean probably. chicken Eat little him. beat the sky that was falling so you think you could beat Mike Tyson in a physical fight? <laughs> Dude, Mike Tyson would eat him. I think it would be a great Yeah, movie. Mike Tyson would literally pick him up, go, twist him, like ring him out, all the feathers off, like, <laughs> and <then> go, <laughs> eat him, chicken raw, and it probably wouldn't even hurt his stomach because he he's mean. a pig. Yeah, oh, it hurts. That's like not okay. Like, he's a cartoon. Would you eat a cartoon he's chicken? He's a badly you eat, animated you eat a normal cartoon. chicken, would you eat a cartoon chicken? You eat human chicken? Um, or a chicken chicken? I wouldn't eat chicken little. <laughs> I fucking would. What? That big ass head is probably. Got, he's got such a big his head, that bobble glasses, head, that he's probably got like the most tender meat in there on those cheekbones. Oh, dude, that's like skull meat, man. Uh, it's like cheekbone meat. His body's mm. tiny, dude. Yum. Every last little bite. Stop. I hate the fuck out of him. Dude, what is wrong with you? I don't know, man. But basically, like, I got to the point where I was like. <laughs> I was just like, I'm so not okay right now. I'm playing Fortnite. I'm trying to stay like in it. Like, let's do this. It's the hardest though when you die and you're waiting for another match to start and you're like trying in those two minutes to be like, okay, what do I do to keep myself distracted? <laughs> TikTok was not helping. TikTok was sending no, me out like TikTok they were recommending very, me the craziest videos. Like they just, knew I was hot. It's really overstimulating. It's too much. It's um, a lot. But then. In between matches, I hear that you guys in the living room are oh, yeah. air playing my TikToks to the TV, which like is funny. Like I, I get it. Like we do that sometimes. Like me and Enya will just watch them and be like, "Dude, what the fuck was I thinking when I posted uh, this?" But it was everyone watching them and like laughing their asses off. Dude, they're like psycho. Not in like a making fun way, but like in yeah, a like just a genuine, these are crazy. Like, these are so funny. Um, and it greened me out so much like i was like yeah, oh is, this is not is real i was like bro is this is not weird. real you're like hearing yourself like <laughs> yeah. like oh and i couldn't go out there and be like guys please stop yeah. like i was like if i walk over there right now i'm gonna throw up like i know i am and then i'm like okay just turn the Fortnite up like my switch doesn't go that loud but turn it up all the way put on some music i'm listening to the same two songs on loop because those are the only ones that aren't making me feel sick and dizzy and um and then i turn my Fortnite down later it's still going and what felt like 30 minutes later i was like how are they still doing it but you know what i made it out um about like i'd say an hour and a half later it probably lasted like three and a half hours yeah so. by the end of it you were like by the time i was leaving you were like i was good yeah y'all were you leaving were like pretty 2 a.m and i was like you and know, you were like lucas was following me i was because you were <laughs> Dude, to me just, that's how I, it felt i hate how it's i made so it i made it on josie's like um like on Josie's docket list for the week of like things that he tells people. Like I hate that that like that one made it like, cause I feel like he's been telling everyone that. Who have I seen? 
Nobody. Y- you told Seth and Corbin when we saw him. I did. And you but did. that's also it's because like, that's something that I experienced. What do you want me to do? Don't I, do fucked up shit to me. I did I didn't. I was trying I know, to help but I thought okay. Then what? why didn't you say that? Why help? didn't you say that when I was telling Seth because and Corbin? Because you were then? running away like a psycho. No, when you when you were when I was telling you. Seth and Corbin, why didn't you say that? Um because I was just annoyed. I was just like whatever. I was like, it's not worth getting into. Mm-hmm. You're like uh the guy from Grand Theft Auto Four. The one who keeps calling him? Trevor? No, oh, that's uh, Grand Theft Auto V. Nikolai. Yeah, his cousin. Oh, um, Ramon. Yeah, he's, he's, I'm the main character and Lucas is the one who keeps calling and calling and I'm like, hi, and he's calling and calling and calling. Yeah. And you know, you always decline and you're like, dude, just f- stop. Mikey! Mikey! Dude, uh, you just, did we watch that video recently? Uh, and yeah, I, I did she put it on that night? Yeah, she, she did. Dude, the funniest Someone part of that video on. is like after. I don't know if you have seen. If you haven't seen it, look up Mikey. Dude, also crackhead or whatever. Um, Enya revealed something to me about that video is that she's trying, she's to, trying to sell, sell something. Yeah. I never knew that. She's trying to sell it, like, which is oh the craziest part of the video. You've like, seen dude, it, right? It's wild. What video? Where she's like, Mikey, well, wake him up. Come on. It's seventy for a fucking dime. It's Dude, a the, deal. The kid who's at the door is such a snot nosed little Dude, kid. Yeah, and she's like, I'm sweating my balls off out of here, and he's like, You have balls. You have balls. Um, Wait, going what? through like such a stressful moment. Dude, but in the her funniest life. part in that video is like two minutes later when it's like quiet for twenty seconds, and she's just like stressing, and she's like, Wake fucking Mikey up, <laughs> and she's like so finally pissed lost at that point. It. And then he just closes the door. Also, there's a kid at the house. Yeah, he's like, there's a kid here. Um, he's sleeping. But yeah, I made it out of the high, okay? And I'm never doing an edible Dude, again, that's what you ever. get for trying to be with the cool kids, man. I've taken that same edible several times, and I've been fine. Yeah, but you you don't, like, take edibles normally. Yeah, I don't take them that consistently. And you're like, I'm gonna... It was be... the wrong night to take it, because I was already stressed, like, socially. Yeah. I, I, that's probably what it was, too. And then that call, like, just... In the wing stop, in the wing stop, the bro. diarrhea. I will always eat wing stop. Like I eat it at least once a week because me, Drew, and Anya, like every Friday, usually get it. Um, but it does fuck my stomach. Dude, up every wing time. stop tastes like it's from a bus stop. Okay, well that's your opinion. It's also so expensive, wing stop. Yeah. Like ridiculously tastes expensive. Like it's from a bus stop. You taste like you're from a bus stop, bro. I bet I do. Before we go. You taste I wanted to ask each of you a, a question. <laughs> Can I ask you guys a question? Of course. What would you do if you woke up in a saw trap? Dude, Josie would be like, okay, guys, <laughs> this isn't funny anymore. <laughs> That's what you would do. I would think it was a joke at first and be like, bro, who the Lucas. fuck is doing this? It's Josh. <laughs> Lucas? Oh, my God. Like, I feel like that's how you'd be. But also, no, I'd probably think I was in a movie and be like, oh, my God, oh, my God, of course this fucking happens to me. <laughs> like, Dude, oh, my God. What would, or actually, what's a better question is, what would your saw trap be? I know. I was like your about nightmare that saw trap. Um, oh, like the worst one that I would be in? Yeah, like, like your custom one make that they would make. Else no, what would they make for you? Like, what are your worst fears like in a saw <laughs> trap? True. It's like, what do you take for granted in life? <laughs> Is that what it is? <laughs> yeah, I like mean, that. some of yeah, like they have like, like um, spins on them about like their characters. That's like, so. St- I mean, I love the first. Like movie. the needle girl oh. had to jump into a needle pit of to, heroin. Like, they all yeah. had heroin in them. Bro, no, it would. Oh, be... Oh, and I'm I'm drowning in it. <laughs> Dude, no, it would be a fridge full of Coke cans yeah. that are sealed closed, but all filled with sparkling water. And Lucas is opening them and drinking them, and he thinks it's gonna be Coke, but every time it's sparkling water. Josie has to drink. That actually would be. Really you would be, li- and there's like it's full of them. So you're trying every one, and it's like three hundred of them. You're like fuck, and you eventually just end up probably exploding, killing yourself, oh. exploding. And you only have 10 minutes to drink all of them to find the one real oh, Coke can. Oh my god, I would actually fucking shoot myself. Because <laughs> also you hate sparkling water. Oh my god. I would mean I, you would just dump them out and look at the color, but... Gibby's would just be the house over boots. Gibby's would be, um... <laughs> Dude, I don't know why, but I, I <laughs> imagine just, like, it's, like, has nothing to do with, like, your character, but just, like, you... Sp- like ropes, like Whoa, your legs I don't and your like arms, this, <laughs> just like stretching. 
Dude, it what has you nothing earlier? to do. I don't know. It has nothing to do. <laughs> oh, I just said. I just said if you were in a salt job, you'd be like, bro. Oh my god. You'd be like, bro. Where are my AirPods? <laughs> <laughs> what? Like, yeah, you oh so would god. wake up. Be like, like how you wake up. Like all like. Oh my god. Uh-huh. You're like, bro. Where's my phone? <laughs> like before you realize what know, you, situation you were in, you probably wake up initially like that. Yeah. Maybe. I think. Yeah, I don't know what my saw trap would be. Yeah, I don't know what your trap. I think would your be. saw trap would be a basketball, like suspended in the air oh, that you can't fun. reach, that you keep jumping and you can't reach. <laughs> it's oh, too, it's not too fun tall. anymore. The, how, that's not fair, though, <laughs> bro. And if you don't reach the basketball that's in ten point. minutes. Like, and it's like, you're like two inches from it, but it's like one of those things where you're just like, fuck, like I'm so close. I'll be able to get it. If you don't reach it in five or 10 minutes, whatever <laughs> it is, confident. you get shot in the head. Squid game style. By the, yeah. <laughs> With the revolver. Russian would, roulette. Would I survive? No. You'd get shot in the head, like bad. Like the temple. Why? Well, I, well, I don't, I don't know. Well, it would be, be my soundtrack. Like I just feel like none of you guys talked about getting shot in the head. I think, I think, about Josie, I think Josie would... His is the cans of Coke Like something with getting graded, cool, like, like a piece of cheese. Like Josie's body getting graded. Wait, what? What like, did you just say? I said something where you're getting graded like a piece of cheese. Why would that... No, there needs to be a challenge to it. All of the ones yeah, we've I'm said trying have to think of the challenge. What about a... a singing challenge? Yeah, it's Josie has to sing... And he's judged by like every animal in the zoo, and then if it doesn't, if every animal doesn't approve of it, they all get released. On <laughs> the fuck? Are you Wait, why? How do they? How do they? How do we know how if these animals judge? are approving of my singing? Though, do they have? Yeah, forever. Oh my god! Speak. Try not to talk for ten minutes while an episode of RuPaul's Drag Race is on. <laughs> yes. While they're doing the runways from this latest season of Drag Race, try not to speak for 10 minutes or you get get shot shot in the head. head I get shot within a minute. Done. All right. Or it would be a a fridge full of Cokes and it's just like survive for 30 minutes without drinking any. I wouldn't. Oh, yeah. Don't. It's becoming a real problem because the other day I felt so dizzy and like lethargic and then I had a Coke and I was like, oh my God, I feel so great. (laughs) What? Like, is it medicine? It's literally like medicine to me. I had three there, yesterday. I, I think they yeah, still Lucas have the zero. cocaine in it. I think they do. Really? That would make sense. I think they do. If that's what cocaine feels like, I would do cocaine all the time. You want to feel my leg right now? Yeah. Feel it. Feel it. It looks soaking wet. I don't want to touch it. It is soaking wet because it's goddamn room. <laughs> I see like the hair sticking to Dude, your you know what? You know what? The episode is over. Okay. Yeah, I'm down. I think I'm this so is a hungry. good time to I'm end so it. Okay. And um, it's ridiculously sweaty in here. And uh, if you think that we should get more Coca Cola on the next episode, let us know. Let us know below. And if you want a- another segment of Gibby Guesses, comment down below. We love you. I'm Billy. And I'm Jean. And we are, are not, not your, your lovers. lovers. Bye! Bye, have a good time.